everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Today I will show you how to do this very easy stitch. Um, it's called Petit Pois or um, Green Peas. As you can see, I guess it looks like little green peas there. Um, this stitch is a very versatile. Um, I did this other sample that I showed um, my friends. Um, it's the same stitch except that it's got a variation of, um, instead of doing the, the stitch that I will show you, I also did a, a row of um, single crochets and it creates this totally different um, stitch here um, and the the once you do the stitch the thing to do um, so that it creates this effect is for you to use a bigger hook uh, than the recommended um, for your yarn um, this one here I have a baby yarn number three and I'm using a 4.5 crochet hook which is a little bit bigger than the recommended um, hook for the yarn and it creates this stitch here that when you pull a little bit or do this it changes completely it just um, creates this very nice pretty um, like little little balls or little peas I guess that's why it's it's called um, a green pea stitch or at least that's what my friend um, calls it um, and I think it's a very pretty stitch. I will show you how to do how to do this um, other variation um, in another video, but for today, I will show you how to do this. To get started, um, this um, the stitch you have to put or do a multiple of. Um, there's no multiple. I'm sorry. It's um, you have to end your chain in um, an odd number, um, like one, three, five, seven, or nine. I have here 15 stitches, and to start. What we're going to do is, on the second chain from the hook, I'm going to insert my hook. I'm going to pull up a loop. I have two loops. And on the next um, stitch here, I'm going to insert my hook and pull up a loop. I have three loops here, and I'm going to close it now. The next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to insert my hook on the last one that I just finished. Not on the next chain, but on the last in the same space where I just finished my last stitch, I'm going to insert my hook, pull up a loop, insert my hook on the next chain, and close. This is the stitch. I'm not sure what it's called, um, other than uh, what my friend told me. Uh, um, I guess green pea stitch or petit pois. Um, but anyways, you just insert your hook here in the same stitch that you just finished, pull up a loop, Insert your hook on the next chain and pull up a loop. There we go. Let me the camera is out of focus. There we go. And you're going to continue this way until you come to the end. But um, it's a very easy stitch. Very, um, I, I, It's ideal. I'm working on a hat with a stitch and it's coming out very pretty. I love the way the texture that it gives it. Um, very nice. Okay. So continue this way, insert your hook on the last stitch that you just finished and then on the next chain and close. Again, insert your hook, there we go, and again. Um, this is just a very small sample I have, I only um, did 15 chains. Um, you, of course, are going to have a longer chain than I do, but the sequence is the same. Um, whether I have a longer chain or um, a, a short chain like I do here, it's the same sequence. Um, just showing you the stitch so that you can do um, whatever you want to do with it. Okay, so I'm almost at the end. So um, insert your hook on your last, in the same space of, um, from your previous stitch and close and again insert your hook here and close there we go insert your hook and on the last one here we're going to complete this row so this is how row one looks like as you can see very pretty okay to do the second row we're going to chain two we're going to turn and we have these spaces here. I'm just going to insert my hook in there, pull up a loop, insert my hook on the next one, pull up a loop and close. Same thing, insert my hook here, insert my hook on the next one, 
and close. There we go. I like to play around with stitches and that's how I came up with the next um, with the other variation. This one here. Um, I like the way that this one looks too. I'll show you in another video how to do that version. I think that a scarf would look very pretty with that stitch. Um, especially I think it's like more like a masculine stitch. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to get here to the end because I want to show you um, how to do the second row and a third row because um, if you don't do um, the, do it do the end correctly, you're going to um, be missing stitches because it looks like there's no more room for you to put a stitch in, but we have to put in a stitch at the end, um, and I'll show you how you're going to do that. Okay, I'm almost there. I'm just going to work my normal. You would think that this would be the last one here, but no, that is not the last one. So, as you can see, you're like, well, where am I going to put the other stitch? Well, you're going to do the same thing. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, and if you see here, we have the chain that we left behind, or that we turned on. Just put your hook in there, and work your last stitch there. There we go. And that's how you do the second stitch and I guess here's where the little piece start to show and then to do the third row you're gonna chain two turn and again sing do the stitch here and on the next one and close again insert your hook on the last one that you did and on the new space there and close insert your hook I think this is a very easy stitch that even a beginner can also do. Um, there we go. So the key here is to make sure that you use a bigger hook than what is recommended for your yarn so that you get this nice and loose stitch. There we go. I'm almost here at the end. I just want to show you what you need to do um, after the third chain. I already showed you what you need to do on the second row. I'm sorry, second, uh, third row. Um, because it's going to, if you can see here, um, you're, like, you're probably going to be like, where am I going to put that stitch? Well, if you notice, we have the two chains here and then this, there's this little um, space here. You just have to play around with it and pull there's, there's that little space. That's where we're going to do our second stitch. So insert your hook here where you just finished, pull up a loop, and here where I just showed you, stick your hook in there and pull up a loop, and that's how you finish this row and any row after this. Okay, so two chains, turn, work your stitch, close, work your stitch, Close, close, and close. I think a, a baby blanket would even look very nice with this stitch as well. There we go. I'm just going to show you um, again what you need to do on, at the end. So here, insert your hook, and then you're gonna do you work your stitch there, and you're like, well, there's no more room. Well, yes, there is. You're gonna insert your hook here on your last one that you just did, like we've been doing, and here you're just gonna you see that there's this little um, space in here. You just have to pull a little, and there's your chains. You're gonna work your stitch in here in this little hole here. Insert your hook and finish your your row just like that and the next one again just do two and then turn and if you can see 
the um, the chain or the the stitch changes once you pull it a little. See how there's a little space now on that, um, and um, this is what it looks like. Okay, this is today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. Um, and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.